If you enjoy what you hear here today, please consider supporting me on my Patreon page. Every dollar helps, and you get to see content that you won't see here. They're gone. Scorpion stated in disbelief, gaping at the large explosion shooting upwards into the air. There was no more time to take it in, however, as the sound of metal tearing and the entire structure suddenly beginning to spin rapidly required their immediate focus. Oh, oh, we've lost the tail, the pilot shouted, the helicopter's tail being visible briefly flying out in a separate direction to the rest of the vehicle. Gah, we're going down. Twilight's horn lit up with a bright and fiery lavender, the entire cabin beginning to glow as a levitation spell took hold. The spinning was quickly brought under control, but the descent was still rapid. Sweat poured down Twilight's brow as she struggled against the helicopter's own defiance and the constant beating it was taking from the creatures. <laughs> Pilot! I need you to help me put this thing down! Twilight shouted. Is there a clearing? Uh, yes, I can get us there! The pilot shouted back, wrestling with the controls. A slight green hue joined the lavender, and Twilight glanced to the side to see Scorpion's horn was also alight. I'm with you, Twilight, now and always. Then a pink hue joined. As am I, Shining Armor shouted, putting all of his magical power into the spell. Despite everything, Twilight was able to smile. That smile widened as the green hue grew stronger, the other changelings adding their own strength to the spell. Some of the creatures tried to use the changeling's distraction to gain entrance, only to be met with a torrent of flames from a defensive dragon. Spike would continue to play defense, to buy the others time to guide them down. From his helicopter, Broadsword and his solar guard could only watch as the Queen's transport slammed down hard into a clearing in the forest, the cabin rolling several times from the impact before coming to a stop, thankfully being seemingly intact. The captain surveyed the situation. One of the cabin doors was torn open, and three of his ponies had been taken by the creatures, but he and the remaining two had managed to drive off the rest, leaving them temporarily in the clear. <sighs> Bring us down to the clearing. We need to protect the queen, Broadsword ordered. The single remaining helicopter descended down towards the clearing, firing at several of the creatures that tried to get too close. They broke through the swarm as they came up to the clearing, the creatures disengaging. As they came to a hover just above the wreckage, most of the creatures seemed to have been driven off, and none of them having ever come close to the clearing. Not even one of their corpses could be seen there, all of their dead having fallen away into the thicker tree line. <sighs> I think we're in the clear, the pilot reported. Shall I set her down? Yes, at once. The pilot complied, moving to the other side of the clearing and descending down towards the ground. All of this control was for naught, however, when a beam of green magic tore into the cockpit and sent the helicopter crashing down, where it impacted the ground with a hard bump. The impact sent the three members of the Solar Guard remaining from their hooves into the floor. But aside from a few bumps and bruises, the shortfall had fortunately done little else to harm them. The same couldn't be said for the pilot, however, as the beam of magic had burnt away the entire cockpit, leaving nothing living behind. <coughs> Pilot's gone, Broadsword choked out as he got to his hooves. <sighs> Report! We're all right, one of the other guards responded, hoping his other fellow guard up. What hit us? Magic, Broadsword responded. Definitely not from those things. <laughs> Sir, one of the guards addressed the captain. The queen. Back on board the changelings down to transport, Twilight groaned painfully as the world came into focus. A seemingly distant voice asked in worry. Twilight quickly became aware that some pony was shaking her, and as her eyes adjusted, she saw the face of her brother staring back. Oh, thanks, Celestia, you're awake. You hit your head in the crash, Shining Armor explained. 
The changeling queen slowly managed to get herself into a sitting position, and a quick examination of herself showed that she was uninjured, save for a sore spot on her head. While Shining Armor was fussing over her, three of her changelings and Spike were surrounding Captain Scorpion, who was leaned up against the wall with a piece of shrapnel in his gut. Scorpion? Twilight called out, quickly moving to his side. <laughs> I'm fine. He responded. We can see to this once we get off this thing. The creatures haven't followed us down, Shining stated, but we lost two of your changelings and the pilot in the crash. I think Broad George's helicopter also crashed just across the clearing. Twilight was saddened by the loss of life, but that would still have to wait. She had to focus on preserving who was left. The queen turned to the twisted cabin door, grabbing it with her magic and tearing it from its position tossing it to one side while leaving the exit wide open. She then gently took hold of the injured scorpion and deposited him onto her back. The changeling in question gave a pained chuckle. <laughs> never, th I never thought I'd get a piggyback ride from you. Oh, shush, she responded. Making jokes will only make it hurt more. <laughs> totally worth it. My queen. All right, let's get off this thing, Shining Armor stated, urging the others forward. They all vacated the downed flying machine, and much to their relief, they saw Broadsword and two of his guards sprinting across the clearing towards them. Your Highness, Broadsword shouted as he reached the group. Are you all right? I'm fine, she responded. My pilot and two of my guards are dead. Scorpion is hurt. Broadsword nodded. I lost my pilot and three of my own, but I'm glad you're all right. What about Vladimir? Shining Armor asked. Broadsword shook his head. No sign. I don't know if any of them got out before their helicopter exploded. It looked bad. A rough cough came from the Changeling Royal Guard Captain, and it caught their attention. Some blood coming up from the mouth of the injured stallion. He's hurt. Badly, Twilight stated. Pass him to me, Shining said. I'll see what I can do while you all check out the other crash site. Twilight nodded, gently levitating Scorpion off of her and onto a patch of soft grass. You lot are with me. Shining addressed the three changeling guards, who looked to Twilight for approval. Once they got it, they rushed to Shining Armor's side to assist with Scorpion. All right, Broadsword, you and your guards are with me then. We're going to go look for survivors at the other crash site, Twilight commanded, looking up past their own transport and at the black smoke rising up in the distance. Huh. Your Highness, Broadsword shouted, drawing his weapon as he and his guards converged on the tree line, where a group of bushes were rustling and being pushed aside by something that was slowly approaching. Twilight quickly joined the three ponies and charged her horn, all of them expecting that some of the creatures had landed and were trying to get the drop on them. What they got, however, was a bloodied Thestral limping out of the foliage. <sighs> hey, guys, Vladimir said weakly, his labored breath showing his fatigue. And then there was the fact that a stump existed where one of his leathery wings should have been. My father, Vladimir! Broadsword ran towards his friend, quickly having the Thestral lean on him, the Pegasus supporting most of the injured captain's weight. Your wing! Vladimir looked confused. What about it? What, what do you mean? It's gone! Vladimir looked to where they were all staring with wide eyes, his own expression becoming one of tired annoyance on seeing the sight. <sighs> Shit. That's it? Broadsword shouted incredulously. That's it? You lost a limb! I'm... Far too tired to feel it, Vladimir muttered. Besides, <laughs> now I can get one of those awesome metal wings. A limb actuator, Twilight said matter-of-factly. One second, hold still. Twilight crouched down next to the Thestral and lit her horn, sending a small torrent of lavender flames onto the stump. Gah! Vladimir shouted, definitely feeling that one. Sorry, sorry. Twilight said apologetically. I cauterized the wound. It's 
It's amazing you got here at all like this. Vlad has always been a stubborn bat, Broadsword commented. But what about the others? Twilight asked. Your guards. All gone, Vladimir spat. <laughs> Every last one of them. When we went down, I ordered them all to bail. But the shrapnel given up by the explosion caught us in midair. I fell to the ground, and when I recovered, all the others were dead. The shrapnel tore them to pieces. Now that I think about it, that's probably when I lost my wing. One of the pieces must have caught me, too. So how many of us are left? One of the other guards asked, taking in the information. Twilight sighed. It leaves five ponies, five changelings, and one dragon. Eleven. There were twenty-four of us, Broadsword muttered. More than half. He shook his head in disbelief. What were those things? Nothing that I've ever seen, Twilight said. And Queen Draco never mentioned such creatures. <sighs> Queen Twilight, there is something else you should know, Broadsword stated. The creatures didn't take us down. A beam of magic did. Green magic. Green? Twilight inquired. Changeling magic? Then could those creatures have been... Twilight? Spike called out. Could you come over here, please? Twilight looked back towards the others. She and those with her quickly made their way back to them. As she approached, Shining Armor, who was no longer at Scorpion's side, gave her a look of sympathy. Then, without a word, he went to check on Vladimir and help Broadsword see to their friend's own serious injuries. On the patch of grass where she had placed Scorpion, the changeling remained unmoving, with a subordinate standing respectfully over their commanding officer, with Spike ready to greet Twilight. What happened? Twilight asked shakily. His injuries were more severe than they appeared to be, Spike said sadly. They were on the inside. He just passed away. Twilight couldn't believe her ears. She looked down on the body of her friend of eight years. He had been at her side ever since her royal guard had been formed. Since the first days of the equestrian hive, he, he had been a symbol of unity between the changelings of the deceased Queen Crudelis and those of the deceased Queen Chrysalis, but more importantly, he had been a close friend. He was on his back. His hooves placed onto his chest and his eyes gently closed. The shrapnel had been removed and they had even cleaned off the blood. So even in death, he managed to look peaceful. <laughs> we need to bury him, Twilight said, the weight of the sheer loss of life finally crashing down atop her. We need to bury all of them. Or at least the ones we can bury. She got no argument, and so that was exactly what they did. Before long, they all stood before several graves, dug via magic, Twilight having even crafted chunks of a nearby boulder into several basic tombstones. There was even an extra grave for the ones they couldn't bury, and the names of all of them carved into that grave's own tombstone. And so they stood silent for several minutes, paying their respects. However, as much as the Changeling Queen would have loved to stay longer, unfortunately, they could not. So with a heavy heart, she called her allies away. They had to continue on towards the Hive. Twilight left first, followed by her three remaining Changelings and the two of the remaining Solar Guard, all ready to do their part to see this mission done and make sure that the sacrifices had not been made in vain. This left Spike, Vladimir, Broadsword, and Shining Armor as the last ones left by the graves. Vladimir crouched down by Scorpion's grave. He had cleaned the blood off himself and his injuries were bandaged. And while he was still fatigued, he'd still be able to continue on for a little while longer. What would have been the final leg of the trip would now take much more time. 
and they would spend that night in the wilderness. But Vladimir could wait until night to rest. He couldn't rest now, even if he wanted to. Not after everything that had just happened. Hey, Scorpion, he spoke. Look up a guy named Longshot while you're there, right? First drinks are on him. And keep some seats ready. However long it takes. And thus the others left the graves behind and joined the queen. Gathered what they needed from the wreckage. And then continued on with their mission. Out of the 24 who set out, only 10 remained. The group was on the move, and two of the creatures watched on in the branches of a tree, a safe distance away to avoid detection. Their leathery wings twitched as they continued to watch the group, and they continued to watch them until they fell out of sight. Ten of them, bruised, and yet more dangerous than ever. The creatures dropped from the tree into the forest floor, green flames consuming them as the horrific visage of the creature was replaced with that of changelings. Changelings with glowing red eyes. So only ten remain, a third changeling stated, coming into land next to the two drones. A respectable result. Though the changeling deaths are unfortunate. We must eliminate the ponies, but the Empress demands that Queen Twilight and all those under her join us. Queen Draco stood up tall, her own eyes glowing with that same red hue as the others. However, what stood out was the black regalia that was latched onto her chest, the central emerald twinkling in the fractured sunlight poking in between the trees. The attack was costly for us, one of the drones stated, the former Archmage of Queen Draco before their enlightenment. We lost many drones. The other, the former captain of the Royal Guard, added in. We must regroup before we continue. I agree, Draco stated. We must be patient. They will be at the Hive soon, and that is where we shall strike. I will gather the changelings necessary the former captain proclaimed. The will of Immortalis shall be done. See that it is, Draco warned, the voice in her ear making it clear that failure wasn't an option, and any rebellious thoughts were forcibly crushed once again. The return of our Empress is coming soon, and none can be allowed to interfere. If Twilight Sparkle cannot be enlightened, then she must be eliminated. <laughs> <laughs>